Hello, welcome to Accessorize Your Life, where aging gracefully and accessorizing your life meet. I'm Julia. You have tuned into a handbag video, and this particular video is on a Brahmin that I purchased last year. And um, I haven't carried her very much, so I thought it was a perfect time to pull her out and just see how she's doing. You know, we got to check on our bags from time to time. We buy so many. We forget what we have. We got to give them equal time, equal love, as much as we can. So this is the little baby that I am going to show you, and I will be carrying her this weekend. So I'm getting her ready, and I thought, why not share her with you? She is in a lovely print, as you can see. I think she would be classified as maybe a multi-textured, multi-colored bucket bag. Her correct name is Amelia, and she is a north to south bucket bag, but on the small side. She's in croc embossed leather, and again, multi-textured and multi-colored. Amethyst Noel on the top and Pecan Melbourne on the bottom. Brahmin does this style of bags really well. I love the luster in this, the subtle shine to it. The colors, soft, kind of muted pink, brown, teal, and a lovely background of cream. The embossed texture varies. Here you see it looks more coming out at you like croc for sure. And then it looks a little more pebbled here, smaller print or embossment, and here a little wider on the side. Very nice stitching. I like how evenly the, uh, the seams meet up. You have your pecan con Melbourne meeting nicely together, not offset and nicely stitched again there. This particular bag has a little slouch to it, but it's structured just enough, I think. It might give some as time goes on, but it has remained pretty structured. And I believe they're referring to the slouch as in this wave it has. It seems to go in and out, and I think that's what they're calling the slouch. I think more so than it actually just puddling down. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I need a drink. But again, you can see the really nice stitching, the symmetry in the bag, as well as the non-symmetrical areas. It all seems to work well together, and it comes together nicely. And in some areas, when the pink mixes with the brown, it almost looks like you're getting a bit of burgundy in there. The teal is pretty against the brown as well. This bag comes with a handle that has a roll stitching and handle that fits comfortably on your wrist, doesn't pinch or dig into your wrist or scratch your wrist at all, nice and smooth, and it has a detachable strap for your shoulder. It's not a crossbody bag, and this strap is great. It's wider at the base, and it gets thinner, but not too thin, where it rests on your shoulder. The stitching, again, is great here. It has nice edge there. Not rough at all. The top is not rough. It's stitched right there. And if I didn't say so, the handle is non-removable. So let's take the shoulder strap off just so you can see her a little better. And I can handle her a little better. Let's see, how is she on there? Easy, peasy, Julia. Shouldn't, there we go. Cause you much grief. And this is how she's looking. Now, Brahmin has their decal right here in gold tone, and it says Brahmin. And they give you a little charm with the leather, and it says Brahmin there. 
with a little ship on it. It's three sails on it. And if you know or don't know, Brahmin is out of Massachusetts. And there lies the reason why the ships are there. Or the ship is there. Okay, so I think that's it. Basically, with the top part of the bag. Now let's look down at the bottom. This Brahmin has four gold tone feet and a pretty lovely looking pattern on the bottom. That's your Pecan Melbourne for you, done nicely. And you can see the variations of the embossment there. Large, small, medium, different waves, different, going in different directions. It works well. They do it very well. So now let's move into this little baby. She has a snap opening and closure. This seems to find its way shut with no problem. She is lined in a nice material, a tan colored, that says Brahmin all over it. She has a little key fob, if you like to use it. If not, I have chosen to use my coach key case. We'll be removing her. And right here I have clipped my latest acquisition from Brahmin and it is the BYO mask case and it is also in genuine leather with the embossment and it is in the pecan Melbourne pattern and color is the pecan it has the little Brahmin plaque there and the back is smooth no pockets on the outside this little mask case opens up envelope style Inside it's lined with a kind of um, nice soft material. I don't know what you want to call that. Maybe it's not felt, but it's maybe a little brush material. And in it I have two masks, one for myself and one for my husband. And I think it could fit about two more masks in there. And I feel like if we're ever not wearing masks each day for the rest, you know, morning to night, that this would be a great little holder for tissue or anything kind of flat, or it could simply be just a nice little decoration for the bag. Gives a little contrast on the top half of the bag. I'm sure I'll find great use for it. And back to the inside, I have a uh, slip pocket on this other side here, let's turn it over so you can see it. There's two actually. One is a little wider here. I have a notepad in it. The other one is for your ink pens and I have my ink pen there. I make sure that she's or it's not open so that it doesn't uh, scar the bag. And both of those slots are lined in the Amethyst Noel leather. And there is a center pouch that's zipping and it has a lining on the top or border with the Amethyst Noel leather. And inside I have my reading glasses. Gotta have those with me. Tissue. What else is in there? Hand sanitizer. Okay, okay. And not that I will be sitting down eating in any restaurant, but here is a little purse hanging apparatus so that you're, if you're ever out at a restaurant and you need to put your purse somewhere, you can hang it from here. Just think we were once using those. And that's it for the inner zippered pouch. Now on the opposite side of that pouch, and I love it because that pouch goes all the way to the bottom and nothing can get under it because it's attached to the lining of the purse. So it separates the two sides of the purse. Everything stays in its place. I have a little pouch from Ipsy that I'm using as a makeup bag until I get the Daisy bag from Brahmin. And I want the Daisy bag, uh, makeup bag or cosmetic bag in the Pecan Melbourne as well. I can't seem to find it in this 
uh, pattern, which is the Amethyst Noel. But in here, I just have a T10, a little inner bag from the Dollar Tree, which I have my makeup brushes in, because once you use them, these little portable ones, they get dirty, and I don't want them to dirty up my bag, so I have them in a separate little bag in here. And then I have a little makeup from CT, Charlotte Tilbury. Let's get back inside. And I have an umbrella because we're supposed to get rain. So there it is in comparison to the bag. Nice size. And what else is in here? What else is in this baby? Oh, zipper pocket over here. I have hand cream from Super Goop. I have little a case with earplugs or earphones in them for my phone when I'm out in public. And that's it on that complete side. I think I showed you the key fob. Yeah. The zipper part. And the last thing, is it the last thing? Is my wallet. Now this wallet I've had for a year and I purchased it when I purchased the tote that I had in this same color, wave. And that tote was the Asher mid-sized tote. And it was again in the Amethyst Noel. I returned it because I fell in love with this beautiful Amelia bucket bag. But I kept the wallet and the wallet is the Addy wallet. And it's a nice small size wallet. It is, again, in the same print as the back, same color weight. It has the Brahmin plaque on the front. It has a nice zipper section here on the back where you can keep your coins or whatever you want to put in there. And I love it that the pull is nice and easy to grab because it's pretty big. And it closes all the way to the end so nothing falls out. That's great. Snaps open and shut. On this side, you get your ID section here, and you get six vertical slots for cards of any sort. Turn it horizontally, you get six more slots for your cards. Back up, you have two slots here for your money, or papers, or notes, anything you wanna put there, and one additional side that is a little larger, a little deeper, again, I guess it's not really deeper than this one, but it's certainly deeper than this one for more notes. It's beautiful pecan uh, Melbourne here and the Amethyst Noel here. And again, the pecan there. Very pretty. Now guys, that's all I have inside. My Amelia is empty. I will be carrying her again, like I said, this weekend. And um, I have to let you know, Brahmin has plenty of Amelia's, but just not in the Amethyst Noel color, wave, and pattern. So if you're interested in this bag, you can find it in an array of different colors and patterns, but not just this particular one. You can, however, find this one on eBay. I don't know what they're selling it for, but you can find it there. But if you're interested, that's where I would send you. Uh, Macy's does not have this color wave either. They do have the Amelia, but again, in different colors. She's a pretty nice purse, easy on the eyes, can be carried any time of the year, easily to, easy to wipe down, and Brahmin does make a cream that you can condition your bags with if you are inclined to do that. I keep her in her dust bag for the most part, and I think maybe I will invest in some of the cream because it's going on now. It'll be after Fe February or March, it'll be going into two years, so I think I would need to give her some little uh, conditioning just to make sure she stays well. Because weather, even though you're not carrying her, the fluctuation in temperature or weather can alter the condition of the bag. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you like my Amelia classic bucket bag with a little slouch in Brahmin's very much signature pecan Melbourne that's on the bottom. 
and the Amethyst Noel on the top. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you're looking into Brahmin and you have any questions or anything about them, go ahead and ask down below. If you are um, just interested in handbags at all, go ahead and uh, tell me your opinion on this lovely. And what do you think about this BS case here? I think it's cute, I had to have her. And like I said, or may not have said, I want to get the little bit of a cosmetic bag to go inside her bag that I can use in place of this bag that is in this color wave and pattern that I think will look nice with her. That's the only other piece I feel like I need from Brahmin as far as an accessory to this bag. Alrighty, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.